Hello and welcome to the Let's Play series for The Surge 2 Part 2. This is a blind playthrough and each episode of the series is continuous through to the end of the game, so let's get started. So we have loaded up the game and we appear to be back in the prison area. Let's just run back out here and continue to work for to where we left off. Whenever it loads, it was have quite a long loading time just to get into the next area. That's fine. We can deal with that. Ah, you took the lift after all. At last, we meet in the flesh. Do I have to talk to this guy again? A fire burning in your eyes, acolyte. This it... I'm just gonna skip this because we did uh, talk to this guy in the last episode, and just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so we have to head towards the giant octopus over there. And then there's that weird thing in the sky again. So I don't know if we spent any points last time. We have a few text grabs, so we might as well see what we can do in the menu. So we can get a few levels in there. And we'll uh, put the rest in the bank so we don't lose them if we get killed. I'm just going to go all out stamina so far. Uh, next points we're going to put into health. Uh, I'm not too worried about the battery just yet. Um, so upgrading. We didn't get to the screen before. Uh, components gained by cutting the limbs off your enemies can be used for upgrades. For armored body parts to require components for crafting and upgrading gear. For arms, wood and weapons to acquire components for upgrading weapons. Cut body parts of robotic enemies and heads of humanoid enemies to acquire components for upgrading implants. Okay, we can upgrade implants in this in this one. High level components can be broken down to lower levels using a one two ratio. Okay, so that's new. But well, I believe it to be new anyway. I, I don't remember you being able to upgrade implants. I think you went through the game and you felt like. Uh, Level 1 of the implant, level 2 of the implant, up to level 3. I just gotta remember my buttons again. Who's this guy? We can't go that way, I'm guessing that's gonna be a shortcut that will open up a bit later. And again, I've got to get used to these buttons because I'm... Alright, X. We want X. And I have to get used to blocking because I'm going to die. Oh my god. Uh, most enemies can get enraged during combat. Their health bar will flash while the state is active. Enraged enemies are much less likely to be staggered by incoming attacks. Okay. They go into a little rage mode. Hmm. Down here. I should probably. I need to get some more health. 
Damn, that's not a good first, uh, good first battle. Large pile of metal scraps. Okay, so there's another little shortcut area, which we're going to have to unlock. What is block? It's R1 to block, and then there's directional blocking as well. take any damage while we've got the stamina to block but we can do a parry well we're just gonna stagger them so we can attack them a bit more Jericho City. Exploring our sprawling downtown can be a bit intimidating at first. There's always something fun going on wherever you go. You'll find street musicians, artists, newcomers, tourists, families, couples, wallflowers, the poor and the rich. In Jericho, we live together in harmony and respect each other's boundaries. So take a deep breath and enjoy the sights. And if you can't find your way, why not ask one of our friendly locals? kind of like going on to the other guy there. Probably, yeah, try and target a few of the different limbs to try and get some uh, different armor. Okay, so that one's from the other side. So that goes a little bit harder than I thought it would be. So it's level two, but I kind of want to get those weapons from him. Horizontal element of vertical attacks can be combined to perform powerful cross combos. Uh, R1, R2, R2 is particularly effective against armored body parts. R2, R1, R1 is particularly effective against unarmored body parts.
Snakey. Okay, so I imagine the combos kind of um, speed up the process of limb cutting. Scraps back from this guy. I'm not going to attempt to kill him just yet. I'm going to take a little look down here. They're going to have loads of like tight corners in this game. So we found a shortcut already. Just going to take us back to the starting area. Sugar, there's two of them. <laughs> Didn't even see that guy there. Also got this. Scavenger's arm gear unlocked. Oh. A new weapon. I might just have a look at that one. Um, I compared to what we had. It's just more impact, more damage, uh, slightly less attack speed, slightly less everything else, a bit more stamina consumption. Yeah. We'll get it. I'll, I'll head back in a bit and try and make the armor piece. Another locked area. Key card needed for that one. Go up here. Go try and get that arm.
Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything around here. Or up here? Oh, maybe there is. Oh, these are level threes. Um. <laughs> Just the map. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we have to go across that bridge where that level 2 guy was. Do it get to Port Nixon? I'll change my weapons up, make sure we've got these. They're the ones I want. So I'm going to. Take that one off. I'll leave the rest of them on. And if there's anything down here I missed. Doesn't look like there is from what I can see. So we've had a, look, a little look around the area. We're just going to see if we can make this. Uh, craft and schematics unlocked by cutting enemy limbs can be used to craft gear, consuming tech scraps and components. New gear is always constructed at Mark 1, Mark 1 at MK1, and can subsequently be upgraded using higher level components to unlock its full potential. High level components can be broken down to lower levels. Okay. We have one. We can... I'll make that. We need an arm. We need an MK1 arm. We've got some upgrades for these. I'll come back to that later. I just want to see which one I'm feeling more confident with and everything gets respawned. Check in for easiest route. This guy's pretty tough.
I think we're mainly going to have to go for blocks in this game. I need to practice that for a bit. So block him at the... Oh, the only thing is this guy's combos. Oh god, I'm going down. Um, that's a bit more blocking with these guys. This is going to be a pretty steep learning curve. Because it's just a different mechanic altogether, so... You, you're going to be blocking. Blocking the attacks. And then you, kind of, you need to... Get the directional block in to allow you to... Get counter-attack. think about trying to block while you're getting attacked as well. Block those attacks. I'm just going to hold block, Let's see what that does. If it's at the start of a chain, they're going to like knock you down by the third hit. Puts you off balance a bit. So we have to try and get our like directional blocks in. Just wondering as well if we can just hold it. They have to be timed. Wait for a low swing. Definitely has to be timed. It's so hard to get this timing right. collecting scraps and materials, so not a major loss. Up all this material, so we should be able to make some armor pretty soon. 
Oh, come on, that was... Try and get some... Uh, components. This game as well is a lot more challenging than other games. This is why it's got a bit more of a Souls-like uh, tag to it. Because you can't select any difficulty level, it's just hard. That's the only difficulty level it is. Um, and you kind of need to take a, a bit of time to just learn the mechanics of the game. Or you can expect to do anything. Or you can expect to like be that good at the game. for this guy either. So we kind of we want to avoid the combo attacks. Um so I guess we just kind of want to like dodge out for those ones. Then go in for some. Some of those ones when it's a bit safe to do so. We're targeting his arm here. Hard to know what's gonna stagger him as well. Oh Jesus, that was an extra an extra hit. to do that. Uh, 
Uh, you're equipped as a double duty weapon. Press the R1, R2 attack buttons once to perform slow, powerful swings. Press the R1, R2 attack buttons again quickly after initiating an attack to split the weapons and perform hits in quick succession. Or just mash the buttons, that works too. I'm wondering if the combos. Combos definitely work as well for these. It's nice. Okay, so we've just got water down there. Canal back alleys. I very much need to get some health back. That's me destroyed. I had a heal there as well, I could have done. And going straight into a block as well. It's alright, we're learning. That's the whole point of this. so annoying about this game you kind of just want to keep the combo going but you need to be aware that they can recover and attack you back while you're doing it just like that oh my god Okay, so we should have gone back and banked some scrubs because we had quite a few. <laughs> oh, this is not going too well at all. I am. God, this game. It's so hard to know <laughs> what's going to stack at them and what isn't. implant. Let's have a look at this implant. 
increases coal power. Okay. Wondering if we pull this on. Ah, uh, we'll leave that one out. I oh, might as well. There's the octopus. Let's head that way. Uh, hopefully we'll have a bit a bit more luck in this area and we won't get like annihilated by that guy in the building. Fires, man. This guy's just mad for combos. Alright, it is a nice weapon over everything, but I'm gonna switch back to the sword for now. be careful with this game because this is one that likes to throw in enemies behind corners. That's gone. Um, we'll hold an L1 to block, match the direction of income attacks with R to perform directional parries. another locked door so oh god so this like game is all new it looks pretty big and all like fantastic and stuff of the environment so i'm going to be taking a bit of time during this to explore as much as i can it's unbreakable yeah um so hopefully this won't be too boring for you guys i mean the first section we had uh, after the prison was uh, really bad. That was just me learning the moves and getting used to everything that was going on. Another new implant. Physical aggression redirector. Make sure that attacks always hit the targets. 
targeted body part, ignoring swing directions. The damage dower is reduced to 75% for attacks that will normally hit a different body part because of swing direction. So, nah. Oh, it's got some noise there. Uh, Basically, it'll stop that from what that happened. So I stopped uh, building up uh, damage on the arm that I was targeting because of the swing directions, which means I wasn't able to get off the limb. Okay, so we have to go down here. Oh, that's what this one is. <clears throat> battery Adrenalizer. When a battery is filled, stamina regeneration is increased for a short time. That will be helpful. Be very helpful. Is there any? I don't think there's anything in the next area. We're getting closer. Give us little updates to how far we are each time. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a little look up here because it's probably gonna open up a shortcut if I carry on in this area. Uh, drone weapon acquired. Use your drone up to place banners at locations that are well hidden or hard to reach. Fear players that find and destroy your banner within 60 minutes, the more generous your reward will be. Okay. That's a, a pretty nice addition to the game, so it's kind of incorporating a bit of social play. Hook needed. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be like another area that we can unlock once we upgrade a new piece of gear to slide down there. So shortcut unlocked, brilliant. <coughs> so, uh, <laughs> not a very good uh, part two progression, as we were literally just like learning, every, like getting to learn to move a bit better. Because in the present we had some enemies to defeat and a boss, but there was hardly any need to uh, block attacks. 
and uh, the, with the two exceptions, like most of them were uh, unarmed. That's kind of like, you know, the, the tutorial section. And coming outside, it's kind of, you know, the game's actually starting now. Uh, so you better be on, like, top performance to get anywhere. So, it's uh, it's taken a while to get used to all the moves. So it hasn't been that entertaining to watch. Uh, so, we're going to end it here for part two. Uh, if you don't want to hang around and watch the... Uh, time spent in trying to learn the combat for the game you can always you can you know just skip to part three and hopefully it'll give you a bit better watching experience okay so this is where we're going to end the episode so thank you for watching this far and if you would like to show your support for the channel please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of this video i've also started streaming on twitch so if you would like to watch me live then please follow the link in the description below where you can find my streaming schedule and follow me to see when I go live. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys will join me again in the next video. Take care.